Hey guys, I'm Coyote Punk 5 and welcome back to War Thunder, and more specifically, it's the, the Death, Death Server. Server! Yay! Yay! Um, so yeah, this time, instead of just doing an Abrams video, I will We're be doing do a complete set. overview of everything, and also Super Proto Man here yeah, hi. is going to be doing his own separate video, so check that out. I'll have that in the description once they're both uploaded. And yeah, I hope you enjoy yeah. the video. Cool. Alright. Okay, so let's start out in the U.S. Good old okay. U.S. of A. U.S. of A. I'm in Germany. Okay. okay, so we have the M1 IP, which is the star of the show here. It has the increased oh, turret I mean, armor. And wait, the... what do you say that the star of the show is the M1 IP or the T80? I said star of the show for America, primarily. Oh, I don't know did? if I specifically said that, but that's what I meant. Anyway, um... Primarily the increased turret armor, armor, especially against heat, a little bit slower, and the um, back of the turret now has a rack on it. That's what's going on there. If you want to see more detail on that, or at least some fanboying, then you can check out that video. I may have that in the description. And then we have mm -hmm. the M247 here. Now this thing here is a beast. I mean, that depends on your description of beast, but yeah, we... Well Okay. Okay. So, we're back. Anyway, um, so yeah, yeah the M I'm gonna saying, test drive uh, the M two four seven now. Sir Kitty mm -hmm. Lover's here, and I have to put a link in his, in the description. Thank you, Sir Kitty Lover. Anyway, oh. the M two four seven has t dual forty millimeter bofors. I think it's I think it's like two point five times the fire rate mm -hmm. as the ones and the, on like the turret is incredibly weak, but the hull is actually quite strong. Like you've got around mm -hmm. four hundred millimeters. Yeah, in, this in, thing is awesome. In the lower part of the upper frontal plate and the upper part of the lower frontal plate, you've got almost 600 in places. But yeah, the turret is incredibly weak. People are just aim for the turret. You've got basically 30 millimeters all around. Wow, how can I? There we go. See, this thing just takes one hit because it has the self-destroying 40 millimeter rounds. And the turret rotation, if you are unaware, is also buffed. So this thing is pretty unarguably going to be the best anti-air at its BR. There aren't any anti-airs above its BR, so doesn't that mean that it's going to be the best anti-air in the game? Yep. Well, I mean, I think that depends on what you think of as the best anti-air. I mean, that's 300 shots a minute while the dual Whirlikins are 550. Mm -hmm. So with the Whirlikins, you can put out like a higher yeah, density Yeah, you can put out shells. more rounds. I think um, the thing is with this, though, is you have that self-destroying round. Yeah, but I'm not sure, like, what if it doesn't- what if it blows up before you hit the target? Well, they yeah, don't. That, that is a problem, but- They don't. Well, it is actually, yeah- So, the self-destroying right. rounds are supposed to self-destroy around the target. I think, um, most rounds actually do explode at a certain distance. Mm, yeah, like the Warble Wind and stuff. Not just the Warble Wind, but most top tiers, I believe. Okay. I believe it also has a top pending shell- I'll have to check. It might be 76 or 100. I'll check that once I get out of the test drive here. Anyway, next up, the T-54E1. I forget what this was based on, but it's the same tank as one of the other ones in the tree, but with an oscillating turret. Do you remember which which one it was? Uh, let me take a look at it. Um, It can have heat FS. It looks like an M103. Yeah. You guys are on the dev server? Yeah, we're yeah. on the dev server. You can download it right okay. now. Okay. I already have it downloaded. Okay, hop on. It'll be fun. Yep. yep. So, frontal armor... I already forgot this tank's name, so I'm just not gonna say it. T-54E1. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Man, um, it is so frontal armor, awesome. effective thickness, 208 millimeters, uh, slope 61 degrees. That's incredibly ugly, though. Oh yeah, it looks like a French tank. It looks like a French tank, but even uglier. On the bright side, though, it's, um, oh, oscillating God. turret does actually have a pretty decent armor... Some pretty decent armor values. Oh god, I have to link my Steam account in order to use the dev server. And my Steam account is literally impossible to link. Because my Steam account's broken. Huh. Okay, okay. Um, anyway, yeah, um... Yeah, I'm not sure how competitive this is actually gonna be. Um, it seems, you know, mildly decent. If I'm not mistaken, there aren't any new aircraft for America, right? Yeah. I will, yeah, I will just take a look at the um, VMF-232. Anyway, this thing, I've already made a video on it. Um, its claim to fame is, of course, the AGM-12B Bullpups. 
which have the guided missile factorness, which is amazing. These things are equivalent to 250, 250 pound bombs, but that's already on the live server, so we're not going to touch on that too much. Yeah. Okay, so... But actually, some of the people here won't know because they didn't get it in the event. Anyway, on to Germany. Yay. Alright, so first up, the M40A2GA2. I'll test drive this. You can this state out facts. This looks like an M48A2. Just preview it and tell me, like, armor values, reload rates, it's just, stuff. You have... Oh man, that's awful. Alright, 110 on the upper frontal plate, effective thickness 205. 90 mil on the lower plate, effective thickness about 130. You've got not that great on the sides. The turret is meh. The gun breach is also awful. You're gonna get like 160 all around. And it's a pretty big gun breach. That's gonna kind of suck, but this thing is gonna be all a right. nice addition to Germany. It's gonna be different from the. You can't rely on armor. No, you can't rely on armor. Most things you can't. Um, but it's gonna be a nice change for German players from the Leos. You, you're freaking kidding me. It does have at least some armor. I, I didn't have my microphone on. Are, are you serious? Yeah, you did. You have your mic on. It's okay, now rocking my a ton. On. Oh yeah, your mic- wait. Why did I believe- your microphone was on. We can hear your you. Your microphone was not on- not on my GeForce Experience recording. Oh, that sucks. Okay, on no, to I, the Leo A1L. Your before. mic sucks. Thank you for the Fair obvious. Enough. Anyway, um... So the Leo A1 A1 L44 is literally just a A1 A1, only it has the, of course, um, Ryman Tail. Oh, that's great. L44 gun. But I tried yesterday meters. to link my it's account. It's actually supposed to be a Leopard mm -hmm. 1A6, but oh, yeah. guys, you can it again. Anyway, this thing's stabilizer is pretty good up to about maybe 30, 35 kilometers an hour, at which point, I mean, it's better than the Sherman, but that's not yeah. much. It's got EPFS, DS, and heat rounds, um, or heat FS actually. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not sure anyone would actually use normal heat. Well, or actually, um, MBT70 has normal heat. It does. Yeah. Oh yeah. Anyway, um, gun is fantastic. BR of 9.0 is amazing for this thing. Um, it's essentially a Leo 2K, a little bit slower, and some more armor. I would say that this thing is gonna perform pretty well just because of I still gun. don't want people to buy it though because we don't really want people just buying top tier premiums first I would thing. say like minimum right. you should be like tier 2 tier 3 experience to be able to buy this anyway yeah, it I is going to balance out the top tier win rates because people are going to start buying this instead of the uh, XM1 so XM1 yeah. and especially along with the T55AM yeah. I think it will really no, because now every nation has something that might interest people that have bad win rates and stuff. So another cool thing is we now have a ME one sixty three ME one sixty three B dash zero. So this thing is gonna be yeah. amazing because now we have four twenty millimeters on the it. The camo is also different. Yeah, it looks really cool. Anyway, this yeah. one is gonna be a really cool addition to one point eighty one because we are now gonna have a interceptor with some cannons that you can sort of rapid fire rather than just quick bursts and it looks really cool and 400 rounds isn't bad for 20 mils the, the one thing i am kind of worried about though is the fact that they're in gun pods and not actually mounted in the wings which should impact performance at least it still has bit. the same top speed it appears does it yeah i'm just okay. gonna test fly it real quick i'm gonna test fly it too but yeah i think that'll be really nice Alright, so for first things first, it, it feels like a, a normal ME163, so if you've played that... Yeah, it just seems like a normal one, ME163 with the different guns, which is pretty I'm much exactly I'm honestly not sure is. which guns are going to like better, though. I'm re I actually really like the MK108 on the 163. I want to see the burst masses. Yeah. The the two MK108 should have higher burst mass, but... Let's see your um, burst mass on the normal... One uh seven point two six. This one has five point five one, so yeah. Yeah. Um they are gonna Except they are that, definitely gonna be easier to aim. Who's typing? How many rounds does the B zero have? It doesn't say in the test drive. It has four hundred rounds. Which so is... it will be able to fire for longer. I think this yeah. is this is something that's really just gonna depend on your play style. Yeah, certainly. 
Because if you want super hard hitting guns that will just, you know, destroy when you hit someone. Oh, of course, the TAM. Then you want the. the. Um, 163B. But if you want guns that you can reliably shoot long distances with. Okay, so not... next thing on the list is the TAM. It has a 105mm cannon with uh, modification. Da, 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 da. I. So it's a Leo A1A1 normal edition on a light tank chassis. That's what I'd say mm -hmm. it is. It certainly does yeah. have less armor. It's not going to significantly impact your protection. However, this thing may hull break. I'm not 100% sure, but I'd yeah. be careful of that. Yeah. But this thing would be amazing in a lineup with the A1A1 and the um, 1A6 A1A6. L44 thing. Um, and maybe even the yeah. KPZ-70. I'd say that the bump up to 9.3 is worth the KPZ. Let's see here. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. It does have a higher top speed by 10 kilometers an hour. I'm not 100% sure if it will reach that or if it's a ghost top speed like many other vehicles. Like the uh, M18. Yep. On yeah. to Soviet Russia. Soviet Russia, comrade. Okay, right. what do we got here? I think here? there's nothing in the lower tiers. I'm sorry, I've been quiet. I've been trying to link my account to my Steam account so I can yeah, actually yeah. use the dev server. You have the BMW. What the heck? You have the BMP2, you have the T80B, and you have the T55AM1. Okay, I'm gonna start with the T55AM. Okay, so, so the... this thing... Do you wanna go? Wait, you've got, you've one, got one ABS, thing. You've got I just linked my, um, oh my email. One person at a time. You've got APF email. We take priority because we are the people actually doing the video, you're just in the background figuring things out. Got it? Okay, so you have APDS, you have Smoke, you have APCBC with HE, you have APFSDS, you have HEATFS, you have HE, and you have an ATGM. So this thing here just appears to be an up-armored T-55, as the name would suggest. Of course, it has the... Is that composite? Yeah, composite armor added onto the frontal plate, along mm -hmm. with the turret. Um, it seems like it won't be as good as the XM-1, but it should be competitive. This essentially seems like a premium T-62. The uh, T-62 M1, to be specific. And then uh, we, of course, have the BMP-2 here. Mm -hmm. This thing that one. this thing is awesome. So, yeah. Jonah, does it still have water capabilities? The BMP-2? Yeah. I believe it does. It does, but if you put on the armor package, it loses it. And all the armor package does is... Um, um, all the armor package does is... Uh, make it have like five millimeters of armor around it, so it maybe it'll protect armor. you against heat. Maybe it's not worth it. Yeah, yeah okay. I wouldn't say. So then, this thing's armor is—it essentially looks like a BMP one. Let's not talk about the armor. We all know it's mm. not going to be. Very um, good. However, just like it should be, the Stalin wood mounted as a spoiler on the back has the highest armor thickness on the entire vehicle, at a solid 150 millimeters. Although angled, it can get up to, let's see, or 500 millimeters. No, I bet that'll be just, yeah, that's just greater than 500 millimeters. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so, anyway, so, and then anyway, the you'll turret, also have the ATGMs. The turret is different, I believe. Uh, it's basically yes. just a way better warrior. Warrior. Yeah. So it The warrior is um, pretty similar, but a lot worse. So this one's at 7.7 .7 now. I believe it was 8.0 on the past dev server. Yeah. It has a 30 millimeter cannon, which has a fire rate of... 550. That's the same as the Werelikens on the Yapard. So this thing's going to be amazing. And armor penetration, what was it, 100? With yeah. the APDS rounds, it's 100, 100 yeah. millimeter. Okay. And it also, of course, has the ATGM, which is 600 millimeters. So this thing should okay. be able to hold its own pretty well. Yeah. Anyway, on to the main attraction of the Soviets. The T-80B. This thing, of course, has the classic Soviet 125mm gun with, mm -hmm. I believe, the same it, penetration as the T-64B at you have 475. 475, yeah. 550 on the heat FS, 650 on the ATGM. Against, Against. a American M1IP with its M774 round, 
your protection is going to be slightly worse than the T64B on the frontal plate. I believe the turret's pretty much the same. But the armor isn't a huge problem on this tank because you are gaining a ton of speed compared to the T64B. And you are now able to reach up to 70 kilometers an hour and... Instead of 60. Yeah. I'm not sure how realistic that is, however. I'm not sure. It will reach it. Yeah. This thing... And it's slight like downhill, you can get to it. does it. appear that the top speed was nerfed from the past dev server, though. Cool. Um, I don't think there's anything in aviation. Oh, because... yes, there is. The I-225. Oh, yeah. Or N-225, if you're <laughs> because they haven't translated Backwards it Backwards. Oh, it's after the I-185. Yeah. So this thing right here has, um... Okay, my... Literally, cannons. there's nothing I can do. I've linked my account. My account is... Link and it still does not accept it. Anyway, so this thing, <laughs> the wings look like an SC6. It looks like, like an SC6 plus a yak. This thing is going to have pretty fantastic high altitude performance. The acceleration is incredible. Yeah, this thing is going to be an amazing addition to the higher battle rating Russians. Yeah, what BR was it? I forgot. 6.3. 6.3, that's pretty high. Mm -hmm. How did you link your account? Me? Oh, yeah. I just clicked on my name and then clicked um ne next to like switch user, change nickname, invite friend on the link account button. Okay. Anyway, it doesn't exist for me. Yeah. It literally does so not exist. Can you stop ranting like... in the dev server video? Coyote. It's like this it is worth I'm at one... zero. I'm at zero. What's at zero? I'm accelerating. Mm -hmm. I'm at fifty. I'm at a hundred. I'm at hundred and fifty. I'm at 200. Okay, yeah, that thing is gonna be amazing. Especially in duels, it seems like. What's the turn time like? No idea, I'm gonna get it up to 400 before I try a turn. Okay, on to Britain. I don't believe there's any new additions to the aviation, am I correct? Turn rate is decent. Um, aviation, no. Okay. And then in army, we have the warrior. Which is at 8.0. This thing looks like... The, what is that? Oh, yeah, American, um, uh, Britain, yeah, Britain has a boat now. Britain has one boat. Oh, that's cool. Anyway, this thing has a 30 millimeter cannon with 80 shots per minute. That's a lot slower than the BMP2. It has. Oh, I believe it. It does have more pen. Yeah, on at 110, which is pretty insignificant. It does have a upgraded missile, which can be up to 730 millimeters of armor penetration. Mm-hmm. And it has a top speed of 75 kilometers per hour, but from what I've seen, it can reach only about 40 to 50, generally. Okay, Japan. on to Japan. I don't believe it has There's anything. literally nothing in Japan. Rip Japan. They didn't even add a dual engine fighter. Yeah, what were they thinking? <laughs> oh my god. Italy. Italy. Literally nothing. Yeah. And literally nothing in tanks. Oh, um, in France, in tanks, we have the Char 25T, and that is it. French tanks. Okay. Do you mean it? Oh. You have the Char 25T. Oh, right, yeah, I did hear about that. Where is it? Um, it's right after the AMX 1390. Ah, oh, yes, okay. Ugly French oscillating turret, check. But this thing right here is a classic one. tank. 90 millimeter cannon. 14.3 degree turret rotation, um, 6.7 second reloading rate. Does it have an autoloader? Um, 193 millimeters of pen, that's not very good. It does good. indeed look like it has an autoloader. Yes, it does. Classic um, drum magazine autoloader. Yeah, this thing is going to be a pretty good tank. Um, yeah, not too much to say about it. Oh, it has the same forward speed as backward speed. Oh, that's awesome. That's going to be amazing for a French 65 tank. And um, if you're actually doing it, it, it's really weird. You start out super slow backwards, and then slowly, over time, um, what ends up happening is as you your gears go up, you s just start going a ton faster. That's interesting. Okay. Um, and that's it. Time to review some fleet stuff. So it doesn't look like there's anything new for America. Germany doesn't get anything new. I see nothing in Britain. Russia doesn't nothing. get anything new. Alright, so no new fleet things. Um, yeah, the Britain does get the one that I mentioned a little bit earlier. Okay. Um, 
the MTB, it has, oh my god, it has the 7.7s. What MT- oh yeah, yeah, that's what I was oh, noticing. Oh man, it's gonna be ridiculous. Yeah, I just really hope that the British boats get better at later, later tiers. Oh wait, no, they, they, they changed- sucks. They changed that, um, whirlwind on a boat thing to tier 2. Oh, they did? Yeah. Do, 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 do. Oh, and they boosted the RP on it. So now it's 26k instead oh, of yeah, 11 Yeah, because it's tier 2 now. Yeah, this darn thing it. really did need tier 2, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this thing yeah, is a beast. It. Anyway, um... Oh, and it's up to 2.7. The like T was 2.3 before. I think that's gonna be it for the dev server overview video. Yeah. I'm gonna be immediately after this video. It should do be it. open again. I think one more time. Usually it's open like three times, yeah. right? I don't know. Anyway, yeah, so anyways. this is gonna be it for this video. Yeah. I'm gonna mm -hmm. be immediately following this video up with a um, gameplay video on the helicopter. I'm immediately not going to be following this up with a gameplay video. That's fun. Anyway, that's yeah. it. I'll see you next time, and hopefully, Sir Kitty Lover can solve his problems.